Hey guys, this is Mistress Nightmare here, and we'll be reading another Smile Dog X Yokai Chapter 3. Before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepy pasta fanfictions out there. Until then, let's get started. I was now shivering with several small cuts, with a black bad eye twitching as my collar was still as good as new. I sighed as I sat down, letting my wet black fur touch the wooden hard floor. They tried pulling off the collar off with soap and water, cutting it with Jeff's knife, and Slenderman almost choked me. I sighed as the creepy pasta sat on the couch around me. Slenderman, haven't you tried magic yet? An unfamiliar vo male voice yelled, making me jump. A grunt returned as I looked over Slenderman, being who was rambling around. I rolled my eyes slightly in annoyance. So you almost killed me. Now you realize that magic may help? I cocked my head to the side, earning another raspy chuckle from Smile. Slenderman came back with a black book with other unruly symbols on it. And yet I found out what it meant. After a an very annoyed Slenderman and a curious me, he sat down on the couch yelling at the pasta monster to get out of the room. He turned to me once as they were all out, chanting something, with me zoning out. I felt the collar getting looser, then before I looked down to see, the black collar was now big and easily slipped through over, over my head. I squealed and giggled like a schoolgirl. The tag jingled as I hoped around the man in the suit. Thank you, I yelled. You know you could change back, right? He asked. I nodded my head as if frankly easily, but he knew it would be some sort of well. At least my fur wouldn't be there. Maybe exposing your or get a point. I stopped and my sad black eyes were now sh shining. Even if somebody couldn't tell. Can I have some clothes? I asked, waiting ancient worriedly. He nodded and yelled for Jeff. Can you got it off? He asked, smiled by his side as they walked back with two others who looked like an elf who was wearing and another wearing a blue mask. I nodded, smiling, showing my sharp canines. Then why hasn't she taken off the collar? And how can she talk? He crouched towards me. About to take off the collar, I snatched, I swatted his hand away, making sure my sharp nails didn't get hurt his pale skin. He raised an eyebrow as he flopped to his side. One, I need clothes first, and two, it's a long story. I muttered, shifting in my paws as I looked towards Jeff. I quickly rushed over, tapping his legs with my claw paws. He looked down at his, with a permanent smile growing. Can I borrow your clothes? I tilted my head to the side, a pink dust covering his once white cheeks as he nodded quickly, walking towards his room with me on his heels. Time skips. Happiness radiated from my matted black fur as I look at the outfit laying before me. It was a black baggy hoodie with black skinny jeans and a blue bra underwear thanks to Ben. I turned to the door, making sure the guys were out, including Smile. I took off the horrid black collar off, making the room white. Now, my true form. I was now in my true form. My human form. 